Gwen Ridenour with the Steam Powered Classroom. Thanks for joining me again for my series of book reviews. We're going to continue again today with mythology, but today we're going to do a sampling of, uh, of mythology from different areas of the world. So I'm just going to give you a small, uh, a small selection, a uh, small scattered selection. And let me know if there's some particular culture of uh, mythology books that you want more information on. Be sure to send me an email or let me know and I'll do what I can for you. Um, we're going to start very quickly with Roman myths retold by Geraldine McHoffrin. And that's a, that's a mouthful for sure. Um, a whole series of stories in here, the Roman myths, and um, the layout's great. The illustrations are great. It's fun. Would recommend this one for sure. Uh, this would make a great read aloud or, again, you know, one that you can just read on your own too. So check that one out. Um, there's this series of... Um, Roman Constellation Myths. Oh, look how, this is a newer series. This is by Capstone. This one is called The Story of Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. Uh, the Story of Orion. The Story of Cassiopeia. And there's a lot more of these as well. So um, if this is a great way to combine astronomy, some, little, some night sky viewing with the Roman myths. And um, I think there's no better way to study astronomy, for, especially for starting out, than getting the myths behind the names um, that we've given them. So great cross uh, cross curricular study there. So picture book format, beautiful, fun. Check those out. We'll move from there to the Norse myths, and this one is the adventures of Thor, the thunder god, retold by Lise Lunge Larsen. And um, like all of my books, I choose them for both quality content and gorgeous illustrations. And this one definitely fits the bill. Um, so this is going to give you stories of Thor and all of his cohorts. And you're just going to have fun with this. I would definitely check this one out. Moving along with some other Norse myths. Um, I talked about this series in another, uh, another installment. And this is by Magic Wagon. And there's short tales. There, it tells you what, um, what kind of myths right at the top there. So there, we did the Greek ones earlier. And here's the Norse ones. And this one's Loki. So this is for your earlier readers. Um, but even Eva sat down when I had all these out for the book reviews. She sat down and just and piled through them and just she loved them. So picture book format, very few words on a page. Really fun. I like that one. Um, okay, and my I had a request to share some Native American tales as well. So I pulled this one out today. The Girl Who Helped Thunder and Other Native American Folk Tales. Um, this is by James Bruhock, Brucock. And um, he actually has a lot of Native American stories for kids. So check him out. And again, all the titles and authors are in the comments below, the description. Um, so it's a nice introduction to Native American myths. You've got some illustrations scattered in there. It's just beautiful book. Look at that. That's gorgeous. All right, so look at that one. And now we're going to go to China. And we'll start with this treasury of Chinese folk tales, beloved myths and legends from the Middle Kingdom. And these are retold by Shelley Fu. And look, they're just this great collection of Chinese myths. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. I would love that. I mean, this would make a great story time, great lunchtime reading, bedtime reading, classroom reading. You name it. Love it. Okay, so check that one out for China. And I've got another selection for you also from China. From China. Um, Chinese Fables, The Dragon Slayer, and Other Timeless Tales of Wisdom by Sh Shiho Nunes, or Nunes. Um, sorry, I've watched the name sometimes. This one, um, maybe for slightly younger kids, shorter tales with, um, with more emphasis on the illustrations. But what a fun, what a fun way for kids to get, to get an introduction to these tales. This would make a great choice for Chinese New Year, too, if you're celebrating that. All right, so there's that one as well. And then finally, we're going to go to India. And we're going to revisit my friend Marsha Williams, who has made an appearance in several of these book review vlogs, um, because I just love her, as you know. This is The Elephant's Friend and Other Tales from Ancient India. And again, she tells them in this comic book style. And I'm always impressed. The illustration styles in all of her books have a, a timeless quality to it, and they're very, they're very much they're similar to each other. Um, and yet they're all very distinct because they reflect the, the origins of the tales or, um, or the culture in which they come from. So great way to, and it's like the, the, modern, the modern text 
along with some some great dialogue going on in the pictures. So you can spend a lot of time in these books and always find new things, new things to discover. So check out her and this book as well. Okay, thanks a lot. We'll move uh, beyond mythology next week. But again, if you've got something specific you would like for me to cover, or you have a unit that you want to do with your classroom or your kids at home, please let me know and I will do my best to collect a, a great selection for you. Thanks for joining me.